What's up guys, Cursive Man here. It is comic book Thursday for me because I was out of town on a business trip to Charleston, South Carolina since uh, this past Monday. So got home last night, late last night, and it was really just going to be too late and I was too tired to um, drive to my comic shop. So I went tonight after work and I'm still tired, but couldn't wait any longer to pick up my comics and uh, to show some of the cool stuff that I've gotten since my last video. Um, I haven't had a chance to watch anybody's videos while I was gone. I was uh, uh, just you know busy and when I got a few free minutes I would just spend it you know taking a nap in my hotel room or whatever. So, um, Anyways let me get to uh, my books I got this week. I got some some new books and some back issues so I'm pretty excited to show you guys everything I got. Uh, first um, this is probably the first and only zero issue that I will be getting, only because I enjoyed the story in Batman. And this is uh, Scott Snyder's uh, Talon, issue zero. Um, the storyline in the book, the, the, the Talon storyline in the book was really good, so kind of excited they're turning this into a standalone series so um, I hope they do well with the story Scott Snyder's amazing anyway so I'm sure he's gonna you know, take his time and do a good job with it so and I think the story from what I remember is this guy's broken away from the uh, the Talon clan and um, just uh, doing his own thing I think I'm right on that so uh, we'll see can't wait to read that uh, next, I picked up, uh, let's see here, The Amazing Spider-Man versus Alpha is what it's called. It's issue number 694, and it says one month of Alpha. I didn't, uh, I didn't know we were, like, counting down for Alpha, so he's got a, it says one month celebration. So, um, story's been okay. He's turned into your typical kid with a big head. Now he's got all these powers, so, you know, it's kind of, a uh, a typical story, you know, they're not really taking us anywhere new with this, but I'm going to continue buying it just because I want to keep collecting Spider-Man, so pick that one up. Then these actually have two issues. I bought two copies of this book just because something tells me that it's probably going to be um, one of those books kind of like my Thief of Thieves and uh, The Walking Dead that turned out to be, you know, something pretty... Uh, Pretty crazy in the future so I'm hoping this is going to go I've read little snippets of this that they've inserted in the back of some of these other comics I really enjoy it uh, that is Grant Morrison's happy issue number one I picked up two copies of this uh, story is quick synopsis he's like he is a dirty cop turned assassin and um, he meets up with a tiny blue horse named Happy. So, <laughs> and uh, the part I read, there was this like serial killer Santa Claus on the loose of New York, and the artwork and this thing was amazing looking. I'll look it out right quick and show you. But uh, I think the guy that did the art is named Derek Robertson, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, Derek Robertson is the artist. And um, it's just got some really cool artwork in it. Be careful that page, but see all that right there. It's really, really good looking artwork. So excited to read the rest of the story because the first couple pages that I got to read in the um, the back of I think it was one of the Walking Dead's maybe. Um, it just really intrigued me. So yeah. Got my two issues of that, one to put up, one to read. Now to uh, show you some of my back issues I picked up, plus some other cool stuff. Um, first one, uh, Mongo Sometime. You can tell Leanne she needs to be paying attention because uh, it's just some cool Thor stuff um, picked up today. Uh, these are some very awesome very beautiful uh, condition um, journey into mysteries that I picked up today so proud to have these and I got them at a killer price so um, go ahead and show you this is issue 108 
of Journey into Mystery with a Mighty Thor. I think it's in excellent condition, probably a four or five to five, something like that. Beautiful cover featuring Doctor Strange. Um, in this issue, uh, Thor comes up on uh, Doctor Strange, almost basically half dead. So he turns himself back into Donald Blake to save him because in Thor's human form, he is a doctor, so switches back into his human form to save Doctor Strange and uh, goes into a story from there. So really amazing book to have part of my collection. And now I have 12 total Journey into Mysteries with Thor, so trying to knock all those out. So yeah, it's issue 108. And my very first issue under 100. And this is a first appearance of the character Cobra. And this is Journey into Mystery issue number 98. And that thing is in amazing condition. And I got this for a super good price. So um, paid $40 for this. He marked it down. He had it listed for 75 and he gave it to me for 40 just because I'm constantly in there with him. So, yeah, really awesome book. I'd say it's probably a 5.0 somewhere in there. So, beautiful, beautiful book. All of them have these awesome stories. Tales of Asgard in the back. This Odin, Odin Battles the Ice Giants. So, yeah. But this is the first issue... First appearance of um, Cobra, which he is, Cobra is really funny. It's almost the exact same storyline as Spider-Man. He, <laughs> he wants to get power, so he lets a Cobra bite him, not realizing the Cobra is radioactive, and it turns him into a Cobra Man. So there you go. Sounds familiar with another spider character we know. So yeah, Stan Lee kind of had the same idea with this, I guess. But yeah, so that's awesome, man. Turn it into mystery number 98. Oh, gosh, I'm dropping. Uh, but yeah, very oldest issue of the Thor I have now. So awesome. And while I was in South Carolina, I was able to stop at a comic book shop. Uh, Captain's Comics is a really cool place, nice, nice place. And uh, they had a lot of stuff, but I didn't want to go crazy while I was out because... I had one bag and it's, it's hell enough trying to get luggage through the airport. So I just picked up this one um, back issue of Vampirella. It's issue number 28. It's marked 15 bucks, but I got it out of the $5 box. And that thing is in beautiful condition. So, uh, yeah. Really, really awesome. <clears throat> I have not even opened this yet, but it's very cool. I love that cover. So. That's it for my comics. Um, I did pick up a few more things I'll show you guys right quick. Uh, tonight, while we were out on town, I picked up, uh, finally got the Avengers um, uh, Blu-ray. It's the, actually, it's the the uh, four-disc combo pack, the Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray DVD, digital copy, and digital music, all in one. So, uh, you got it for 19 bucks at Target. You can't beat that. Really awesome. So... Pick that up, and also while I was at Target, they got these. So, all you Batman fans, be on the lookout looking at Halloween aisle. They have these really cool, only a Target um, Halloween edition of Batman. I don't know if you can see it a little better. He's all blacked out with the orange features, and it comes in this cool, like, pumpkin case. And it's based off of the Dark Knight series, Dark Knight Rises. So, yeah. Halloween Batman. Very cool. It's like $3.99 or something, so it's not bad. But anyways, that's my comic book haul. Um, can't wait to watch all you guys' videos, so uh, I will be doing that here soon. But um, thanks again for all my new subscribers, and uh, big shout out to all my buddies out there, Mongo Stomp Tom, Mr. Fix It Smash, you're awesome dude, keep up them cool videos, Gare, my buddy, and Wednesday Angelique. Everybody, Hippies Collectibles, all my buddies out there, you know who you are. I'm not going to sit and try to run down the list today. Um, but uh, anyways, y'all take care, and I will talk to you soon.